hello. Uh, YouTube recommended to me uh, this jazzy album recently. So I got an idea to recreate this in uh, Touch Designer. And actually it's a pretty easy uh, chain to do this. So first thing we need uh, is a line because we have here lines. So uh, we need a rectangle and change its resolution to 1280 by 1280. And change size to make it to look like a line. So so something like this should be okay. And now make a transform to get this line on the top of our canvas. Now we need to multiplicate a line. So to do this, we need a feedback loop. So feedback, transform, composite, and send this composite to feedback, and change the operation to over. And now in this transform, change this, translate. Uh, value to something like this but now we have a problem because the lines here on the bottom are re really blurry so to change this we need to in this transform change uh, this input smoothness to nearest pixel so now it's sharp everywhere. So, okay. The next uh, thing uh, we need uh, is to make some uh, lines brighter than, than the others like here or here. So to make this we need a noise top change the resolution 1280 by 1280 and in this transfer tab change the scale to zero and the period to zero okay so now we have these lines here and now I'll make a null and level uh, to just invert it to get uh, black lines and white background and now uh, here we can make a composite and uh, connect it, this noise here to it and change this operation to subtract to subtract because uh, our lines have values to something about one or maybe even one, I don't know uh, and so we need to uh, subtract some values. Uh, so here in this noise we got some various values per line. So uh, so how it works? Just sub subtracting the values from one. Okay. Um, so now we can play with this offset here to make it less vis visible or more. Okay, and next step uh, we need to create a mask. So and change uh, this operation to multiply and 
just play with this size values to get something similar to picture on the left. Okay. We can also increase the number of the lines here in this feedback loop here to something like this. And now we need to this object uh, on the center. So I import the banana and use feet to uh, make it square. So now we need to displace top here, connect it and change displace weight on this parameter here to something like this and now we need to make um, this object uh, uh, more curvy inside because you can see it here it have this curves here so to do this we need uh, another one nice top and change it to 1280 by 1280 and make here a composite and just connect it okay and we can now increase uh, this displace weight a little bit more uh, but now you can see it doesn't look ex exactly the same right like uh, here so to make this uh, lines more smooth here we need to use a blur top here so now we get more smooth lines in inside of our object we can also increase this a little bit this displays here okay and the next step uh, is you can see it on every line uh, it looks like uh, made by uh, hand by some pencil or something uh, so to do this to get this analog uh, a vibe we need to copy that nice here and make another one at uh, this place uh, but uh, but we can also uh, center our image so mm, before so uh, use this transform here to center it a little bit okay and now we connect this noise to displace and change this displace value to something really small like this and change uh, this period parameter in noise to zero okay so now we have this analog vibe like here okay and now we need to increase some contrast so just use a, a level but here a level and change this black value to 
something like this uh, and we can also play with this offset here to get this brighter lines okay so now it looks fine You can also uh, can, you can automate this transform here to get animation to look like this. And you can also make it to look like a drawing. So um, put some video. So uh, we'll use the device in and make a fit to make it square and fit outside. And now you can connect it and play with some level to get some things more visible or less okay and also you can try with a threshold So that's all for today. You can also support me on my Patreon. So link it's in the description. So thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.